This is York University. It's actually my old university. And even though I take every chance I get at making fun of it, I actually kind of miss it. When I was at York, I learned some pretty cool things. And not only that, I kind of discovered who I was. And see, when I came to university, I was doing a lot of cool things. Like, you know, writing poetry, making films like this, vlogging. And then I got a job. Once I started my new job, I got a new routine. Slowly, I lost all those creative things I had going on. And then last December, I rediscovered one of my old passions, filmmaking. I watched one of my old films and it all began again. And now I'm here making vlogs on YouTube. Now I don't want this to be a video that kind of encourages you or tells you basically to quit your job and go into the arts. Like I don't want you to like, you know, quit tomorrow and become an actor or become a filmmaker. I think this video is more about rediscovering what made you happy and somehow fitting it into your life. Growing up is hard. You have responsibilities, things to do, all those formalities, just all the things you kind of want to avoid. But more importantly, you lose that inner child of yours. You get too wrapped up in being an adult and the child inside of you gets lost. And slowly, we start losing the things we enjoy doing the most. So when I rediscovered making films and acting, I felt like I was back doing things that I really enjoy. And now making these videos is not only work, it feels like I'm in a happy place. There's so many reasons why people stop doing things like hobbies or things that they enjoy. It could be you just get sick of it or you've done it too much or you want to try something new or even you have some bad memories with it or you just forget about it. And it's hard to rediscover those things or to feel like you're missing something in your life. Like it's, it's, it's challenging. So one thing that I would suggest you do and I would definitely highly suggest doing it now is writing yourself a letter every year. In this letter, you would write things about what you're doing now, what makes you happy, some things you wanna try, and that every year you revisit that and you find out where you were 365 days ago. And it's a good way to keep track of the things that are changing in your life as well as your new habits. Change is good. Change is inevitable. There's no way we're gonna avoid change. And it's all about getting used to change. But sometimes it's nice to revisit things that you used to do in the past. Like let's say for example, you love singing or you love drawing or you love doing little things here and there that may not make you money, but were fun to do. Doing those things kind of brings back that joy you used to have and kind of releases that inner child that you always had. And I think it's easy to forget the things that we loved and put it aside for our responsibilities, the things we have to do, and that's okay. But maybe taking some time and doing the things that you love is as important as doing what you need to do.